I'm Kyle Brierly, Director of Product here at Telium. Today, we're going to be walking you through the new View Through Tracking extension for Telium IQ Tag Management. This new View Through extension enables clients to track ad impressions served to their users via a tracking pixel, as well as associated metadata about the impression generated by the ad server. The tracking pixel collects and stores data in a cookie, and when the user comes back to your website, the view through extension will add the collected data to the data layer for use in other tags or event stream and audience stream. So the extension can be found with all the other extensions here behind the add extension button. If you go over to the advanced tab, you'll see the new extension right here, view through tracking. I already have it added, so I'll walk you through the currently set up extension back here. The extension is very straightforward to use. Start out by titling the extension, whatever you'd like. And when you add the extension, we'll automatically generate a data bridge key for you, as you'll see here. This key is a valid key that will allow you to start using the feature immediately. The base URL is the URL for the tracking pixel that you'll be placing in your ad creatives or in any content that you like to track user behavior. Below that, this is where you're designing the different data points that you'd like to be tracking on every request to the tracking endpoint. You'll see as you manipulate these fields here, the URL down here will automatically update for you. So working left to right, you start by selecting a data layer variable or creating a net new one. And then you're gonna pick the operator. So the methods here available are increment, decrement, append, set, and clear. So what this is saying is when the URL gets called, whatever the value is that's returned in that key value pair for the query string, this operator will change that value accordingly. So if you want to just set a string to this key, use the set operator. If you want to append a string to an array, uh, use the append operator. You can increment by a certain value like one. Uh, for an example use case would be tracking total impressions seen by a given user. Uh, you can also keep track of individual activities, like you'll see here, and I'll walk through this uh, in the demo here in a second. And then again, we'll use append uh, for keeping track of all the domains that the user has seen. One thing I'll highlight here is if you are going to be using this tracking pixel in your ad server, take a look at your ad server's documentation and look for the different macros you can use in that environment. So for example, it might be something like dollar sign domain, and that will automatically populate the domain where that ad is being served. In the Telium community, we'll link to uh, some popular ad server and their documentation for macros as well. Down here, you have the data processing portion where you can actually customize the code. So after a user has been served this tracking pixel a few times and you've started to accumulate data, when the user returns to your website, this extension is going to automatically read that data down and add it to the data layer for you. From there, it's up to you what you want to do with that data. So we've given you an example here on line 12. If you want to send that data to the collect tag, for example, and use it to create attributes and audiences in audience stream, you can just uncomment that line and you're good to go. You can also use this data uh, to send it to your analytics tag or maybe your personalization tags a bunch of different use cases here, but this is the section of the extension where you can manipulate which tags are going to fire once that data is ready. And past that, the last section here is the usage reporting. So this is where you'll see the total reads, which is when the user hits your website, the extension reading the data, and writes is when the tracking pixel gets served to a user out in the wild. And the total here is the number you'll want to look for. So with that said, let's hop into a live demo. So the use case here is a made up watch brand called Demoto, uh, and they have the tracking pixel placed in two environments. The first environment is a blog site. So let's say a user uh, who may have been shopping for Demoto in the past goes to their favorite blog site and gets served an ad for Demoto right here. So when you're using the extension, what you want to look for to make sure that it's actually working is this TDB uh, cookie namespace. So you'll see that this is the data bridge key that was assigned to my account and profile. 
and we've written a bunch of data here into the cookie. So now that we have that set, that's keeping track of, again, these values, right? Last campaign seen, all campaign seen, et cetera, et cetera. Once a user's done there, maybe this brand Demoto also has an agreement with a product review site who has let them embed their tracking pixel on their watch within the list of watch reviews. So a user might be interested in the watch, they're kind of moving down the funnel, so they want to check out reviews for the Demoto watch. So they scroll down, and you'll see here is the Demoto watch. And again, that tracking pixel is going to fire. And we're again writing into this third party cookie uh, with new values. So now we have two interactions with the user. We're starting to build up a little bit of a story about them. We still haven't seen that user yet, so we don't have access to the data quite yet. But let's say now the user hadn't clicked through the ad, they didn't click through the product review site, but they organically come back to demoto.com. So we're back here on demoto. So now we have all that data in that TDB cookie. And so what you'll see if I do utag.data and expand this out, here's what we're looking for exactly. So you'll see ad domains. We've been to, the user's been to Trek Times, the blog, and Seven Stars, the review site. All campaign seen. One was a publisher direct, meaning uh, they had an agreement with that product review site. Uh, and then sort of categorically, it was just uh, reviews. And total impressions, two. So you'll get the idea here. So basically, on the first event when the user hits your site, and once per session for that user, the extension will run, read that data down into the data layer, and then again, from here, you can control what happens once that data is ready with this data processing portion right here. And that's about it. It's very easy to use. So again, very quickly, you add the extension, it'll automatically generate your data bridge key, you set up the query string parameters with the data that you'd like collected. And again, be sure if you're gonna use your ad server, take a look at the macros so you can automatically populate uh, or dynamically populate values here. Uh, customize the data processing section if you'd like to send this data to any of the tags loaded via the Telium IQ Tag Manager. And once you're done, you'll see usage reporting here within the extension itself. And you'll also have access to usage reporting and the UDH usage reports down here at the bottom. And that's about it for the Telium IQ view through tracking extension. For more info on pricing and availability, you can contact us directly, visit telium.com or head to documentation for this extension at community.teliumiq.com. Thanks.